contest in the evening is a battle royal where the only way to be eliminated is to be tossed over the top rope and two feet touch the floor. The last contestant standing will be declared the winner. Please subscribe and we love you a little more because subscribe because you see how seamless the stream is you see how there's no glitches no feedback issues pure stream right here precious oh. water out there that's my boy donovan thomas mr rockstar what do you think donovan's weighing in these days uh you know i, I think he might be around my weight if not a little lighter so i want to say uh 230 maybe uh spoiler that is donovan thomas mr rockstar himself the man with a million charisma now oh, that boy's built different and who's that boy? oh crazy azul he's back yes crazy azul loco blue however you know him this might be my pick because you can't predict the unpredictable now don't get me wrong thomas being 230 that's gonna be hard to get over any road but anybody that's willing to hurt themselves like that and coming behind Crazy Azul is King Cole, the king of the beard. That's big King Cole. You go ahead and tell by the jersey. King Cole is not no Prince Freezer at all. He is out here to make a statement. And I think the Battle Royale is the best place for the king. 100%. Oh, uh, then right behind him is Big Protein himself. CB43. You know, when he's around, it's cannonball season. I'm not going to lie, that's a lot of letters, a lot of numbers for me. All right. I was a history major, not a math guy. And look, I respect this man a whole lot. Fellow urban legend, Don Cameron. Well, it looks like Don Cameron's going in the wrong direction for the ring. Now he's taking his time, you know, he's, he's making his way, he's making his way. Actually, I think he's being smart. Instead of being one of the competitors that jumps from the stage to the ring, instead of possibly tearing a meniscus, he's walking, making the other competitors wait. And we also have Warden in the ring, too. And we got Warden, we got Grappler One, we got Leo the Great, we got Travis 3K, and Eddie Hendricks, the Sun God. I don't know if anybody has seen the Sun God in person, but when they say sun, I mean massive. I uh, mean huge mountain of meatacular man right there. Is that BGU's Quattro? I guess he's off the IR and he's back in the ring. What is Quattro doing here? He's the manager. Oh, but you know, oh, he's killing with the moves. Oh, man. Everybody in this match. Oh, I'm excited for this one. And if you didn't see, our, our goal tonight is a 2, 10, 20, 30 new faithful souls to join us on our journey on kick. Go ahead and join us. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you subscribe, we can do more events like this at cool places like Wild Wing Cafe, and especially streaming here on kick. And again, shout out our sponsor, Shout out W Energy Powder. Use the code DWA4 Life Exclamation Mark. Uh, life is built L Y F E for 10% off non jittery all natural great pre workout. Man. Out of the people you've seen here, who's your pick? Obviously, you know mine is Chase. Oh, I, 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 I will say I haven't seen him yet, so maybe you decided to back out? It's kind of hard to say because, you know. There is a lot of mass in that ring right now. Close to 2,000 pounds. You got giants like Warren, King, Cole. Uh, it's just it's hard to pick when everybody's over 250. But I mean, hey, the one reason we watch wrestling is to watch big meaty men slapping meat. Well, there's the first slap right there. Oh, what? And there's another song playing. Who's this? Uh, I guess the match ain't started just yet. Man, some of them couldn't even wait for the bell to ring. But that's, I that's can't tell swing. the bell did ring. But that's the song of Northside. Oh, shoot a game! What happened, Northside Hero? The two-man militia. If Gabe is in the rumble, Gabe is my pick. And sadly, my pick. I mean, not sadly, happily, my pick. Chainmail. In fairness to Chainmail, besides Steve Payne, who uses auto tune better? You know, I, I love his music so much, it definitely does not make me want to go home and cry.
and resurrect fun. Is that too much? Happy Easter, everybody! I don't really care. I don't, I'm not greeting you with any kindness whatsoever. Because I want to confuse people in the ring right now. You see, this battle royal has not started yet because there's a couple more contestants. That's right, Roy Chainmail is the absolute chief for those of you that don't know me. I'm the one they really come to see. Right now, I am being added in to this. Possibly and also, British pretty much I've taken over DWA. So I am being abundantly clear that right now, we're going to have it. Shut your mouth. Hush it. Listen up. What in my hands is a cash-in contract. The winner of this battle royal is going to be able to cash in whenever they want. But the bigger news that I have for all of you, some of you have seen, I have started a new faction called the Apex. That is right, the Apex. We are always on top of our game. And listen, even though we have our fight set on BGU, everyone in DWA has been put on notice. And just to make it clear, I am adding one new member as of this last weekend. I made a call to my little cousin who is all grown up. And I have added him. He's going to take care of everyone little cousin. you. I'm interested to see who this is. to you for the first time ever from Toronto, Canada. He doesn't look like somebody's little cousin. Little my ass, that motherfucker's big. What? I, I refuse to be related. See, and at first I was gonna ask you, even if you win the contract, which shaping was you even have? But this looks like seven feet of destruction right here. This is go modern day Goliath. Why is he so damn tall? What cheat code did Chainmail have to make this man? You saw that breaking symbol? That snapping motion? Six foot, seven foot, eight foot crunch right there. So you, you gotta wonder, if Chosen looks like that, where did it go wrong in the family tree with Chainmail? No offense. Some family trees have weaker branches than others. Now you can officially ring the bell! Even though I don't think it is fair that Udge uh, Chosen doesn't have to get in the ring to start the match. Well, the Chosen chooses when he wants to get in the ring. So, so we, we let him do what he wants to. Especially with him being that tall, I'm not going to argue with it. I don't wrestle. I'm not going to get killed. We're going to get him killed. Eddie Hendricks going after Donovan Thomas. Warden going after Crazy Azul. Everybody's getting hit. Oh, you poor King Cole taking some beating here. Well, I think everybody's doing the right thing right now. They're parting like Moses with the Red Sea, staying as far away from Chosen as possible. Are we going to see our first little oh, bit what? of teamwork? Oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Chainmail ball! Oh. Oh, Chainmail bowling ball. That was a strike. The question is, though, I mean, besides just being thrown around, what does Chainmail really add to the tandem with Chosen? I mean... Talking that's so good it puts you to sleep, which is good for the opponents. And then you catch them off guard, hit them with some strikes. I yeah. believe it. Yeah, Blondie won. I don't know how that's his cousin. Somewhere in the family tree, like genetics got messed up. Well, there's this thing called first cousins and then second cousins and third cousins. Yeah. So if you go down the line, about 84 cousins, you'll find the connection between then, Chosen and Chainman. And then don't forget the 50 times removed. Oh, it oh, looks like somebody's about to be oh, right here. Great. He might be going out of uh -oh. here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Again. Spear! Choke spear? Spear slam? You're going to have to give me a second to process what we just saw. Uh, Leo's going to need a lot of time to process it. That, uh, that thing killed him. Crazy Azul going out to CP for three. Chain up going out to Crazy Azul. And everybody, the pause is getting touched. The only thing I'm going to say is I think they're making a mistake. They should be going for eliminations. I get it. They're trying to make an impact. But you still have to clear out the ring. They should be going after Chosen. Eliminate the big, literally the biggest threat here. Eliminate him and then focus on everything else. But I would say this size is pretty damn intimidating. Even the Sun God trying his best. But the Chosen, big right hand, right to the bridge of the nose. Well, that's just it. You're not going to intimidate the Sun God at all. 
There's been Eclipse that couldn't keep the Sun God back. He's going to go out whoever is the biggest in the ring and try and make an example out of it. But I will say, as Craig Ocean once said, what's a guy to a non-believer? But I do believe that Hendricks might have been eliminated. I see him on the outside. I don't, know he, I don't know if he went under or over. I believe he went under because you see Chosen's also outside, unless Sun God just got the biggest elimination of the year. Uh, and Don Cameron is well fighting on the outside. You know, those fans are running for their money. Well, Donovan Thomas taking that King Cole. Trying to show that infinite charisma. Oh, but the king of the biatches. He is not going down just yet. Send Donovan Thomas into the corner. Oh, you got a cameraman just trying to The cameraman's just trying to survive. Everyone's getting caught in the crossfire. Oh, uh, what's going on here? Oh, that ease. I can hear the bump all the way from the stage over here. Not only does the chosen have that kind of strength, but the ease of which he uses is crazy. And you got grappling one on Quattro. Headlock takeover. I am and a rumble. So I'm curious if there's grappler one or grappler two. Uh, to be honest with you, we don't even know if that's grappler two right there. Wait, but is he teaching Warden? Is this training? He's teaching Warden in the middle of the ring how to properly execute a headlock takeover. And they're doing it on poor Quattro DGU. He, he, he doesn't even normally a manager. He should not be in there right now with everybody. Wait. He was a competitor before he was a manager. Injuries got to him, but now he's back in the ring. And this is a this is a tough way to get back in. You know what? If Chamo gets eliminated, then my second pick is Quattro. Give, give me him winning it all for BGU. I mean, technically, with all the headlock takeovers, you can't get eliminated with your back on the mat. Well, you might get, uh, you know, severe headaches. Oh, but Grappler 1 locking in a uh, rear naked, I believe. Larky, uh, you know, normally I would agree with you, but I did tell Chainmail I would be nice to him today since it's Easter, so I'm sadly, happily going for him. Um, uh, oh, okay. Huh, huh. I have an idea of what's about to happen here. There is no what, but Quattro looking like you're doing the nay nay. Well, there's no music. Uh, is this? It's. You, I think you have an idea. Rear naked condo? So it's 331. Go back about 15 days and think of rattlesnakes. Well, why is it stopping? Oh, landing up. Stunner! Takes everybody out like some dominoes. Everybody but grappling number one. Grapple number one. And that's because grappling number one is out. Is this a love fest? No, Malarkey. It is anything but that. It is pure, pure chaos. Right, finally, Chamo getting some work done on him. Uh, but he's fighting back. Yay, what a DDT. Chamo and Quacho, possibly the next rivalry of the year. Because you know, Quacho is considered to be a part of BGU. He was an original member. And Chamo, he's already had some words for BGU. I don't see why Chamo wouldn't take this opportunity right now to eliminate Quacho from the equation. And look, for today, I'll say, you know, Chamo will win the rivalry. But come midnight, I'm definitely going for Quacho. Oh, chosen big back elbow. Just look at his height. The ring is eight feet in the air. That's stature. Jesus. That is a seven foot tall man. I so you bring up a good point. I don't even know if Chosen's gotten into the ring, but I mean, nobody told him that he couldn't. Well, I think Quattro might have got eliminated the way he's cussing out Chainmail. What? Quattro going down to Chainmail. That is just the first strike and what's sure to be a tag team for tonight. And Hendricks. Oh, I believe CB for three just got eliminated while Hendricks was taking out Chosen, but now shooting Gabe, using that shoot style, turning his attention to the Sun God. Chosen has gotten into the ring for a brief period of time. However, feel free to go out there and tell him to re-enter the match. I was going to shoot a game. One half of the tag team known as Northside Heroes. They wrestled yesterday. They are the two-man militia. Man, they are some dangerous cats. Oh, Craig has always been eliminated. Chainmail's actually doing something? I mean, I, I knew he had it in him. I'm not going to lie to you. Five minutes ago, if you would have told me that Chainmail was going to be the workhorse of the tag team between him and Chosen, I would have called you a bold-faced liar, but however, Chainmail has at least two eliminations to his name. And everybody's down except for Chainmail and Chosen. Oh. Oh, he's throwing David Thomas over, and Mr. Rockstar is eliminated. Somebody else is going, and they're going the hard way. King Cole, King Cole with one hand. He just eliminated 300 pounds with 
one hand. I can see why he's called the chosen. I mean, he's like a shop here. Dang, he's huge. This is where the guys need to start working together. They're allowing Chosen and Chainmail to have too much rest time. Oh, and I'm sorry, CP for three was not eliminated. He is still in this match as he's taking it to Don Cameron. Shout out fellow Don of the Four. He's the Don of Wrestling. I'm the Don of Comedy. Oh, damn! How far do you think that's a drop? Four feet, five feet, six feet? I mean, enough to damage the insides of Travis 3K, that's for sure. Turning his attention to the sun god. Oh, the issue oh Eddie Henry with a big smack. The issue is the Apex still has all three members in. Now, I'll say this. With the Apex members going so long, this might work to their disadvantage when they face BGU. However, it's working to their advantage right now in this battle royale. You know, Smokel, uh, with that comment, if you're talking about who I think you're talking about, um, ask me that tomorrow and I might have been confused. Today, I got to be honest. The chosen, putting in work, shoot a Gabe, getting some major elbows. But I believe that is Don Cameron. Warden's still in there. Warden's still working. And then Warden. Oh, the Warden might. Oh, I think Warden might eliminate Eddie Energy here. I think Warden's the last hope if you want somebody to get similar size to Chosen to get any kind of elimination. If, 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 I'm, if I'm also thinking this correctly, Warden's also with the Apex. So this faction is definitely on the rise here. Wait, so let me get this straight. The Apex has Chainmail still in the ring. Shooter Gabe still in the ring. Chosen still in the ring. Warden still in the ring. Like you said earlier, Chainmail, he's helped a lot of people. So there's a lot of people who's got in his back pocket. Going from No Side Heroes to Nikki Heat to Chosen. To Warden, it's, it's a lot of people we're looking at here. Well, it looks like everybody was invited to the Chainmail party except Eddie Honcho, apparently. But well, I gotta see somebody somewhere not be with Chainmail. The Trash 3K, all get caught in a, a choke, but Chosen looking to eliminate him. Chosen just does it so effortless, effortlessly with one hand. I think this is where the numbers get really, really nasty. This is the deadliest force since Quatra has been eliminated. Chosen. I mean, even from this camera angle, you look ginormous. Oh, what a cannonball! Super and you notice three. he dodged the boot while also executing the cannonball. I mean, hey, that's a good, that's how good CB for three is, especially when it's cannonball season. Oh, CB for three, turning his attention to the warrior. As Like a choke slam shove. Yeah. You call that the gnat swat. He just knocked him out of midair like he was a gnat, a fly, a mosquito, insignificant. Oh, and Apex using the power of friendship to possibly eliminate CP for three, and they do. Well, the question is who from Apex wins? Obviously, I think they just all step out and let Chainmail get it. If that's the way Chainmail wins, I'm disappointed. But are you shocked? No, not a single bit. Shooter Gabe still working on non Cameron. Eddie Hendricks working on the Warden and the Chosen and Chainmail. Just watching the dirty work get done. Well, it's not that. They're working in shifts. Chainmail did a lot of their work on that last elimination. They're working in shifts, keeping people fresh. Oh, it's a oh, oh Shooter Gabe is eliminated. eliminated. Don Cameron shows why he's a Don of Wrestling. You know why he is the urban legend? Oh, Chamo kind of throwing Chosen into the fire, but the Chosen ready for it. Ready for that heat. Dang, Chosen strong. Ooh. Oh, what a scoop slam. And Eddie Hendricks, the sun god, working on Chosen as Chosen throws him back. I don't know if he has any George Washington and Cherry Tree in him, but he's going to have to start chopping with something to bring down Chosen. What's up, Malarkey? Appreciate the love, man. Oh, uh, we got another elimination. Damn. This is pretty much a 2v1 right here. Hendricks versus the Apex with Chosen with Chainmail. Ooh. All big body splash, Malarkey. I will give you an answer depending on the question. 
If it's anything outrageous, no. But if it's something reasonable, yes. Big miss right there. Chainmail chest first into the turnbuckle. Light Hendricks, at least some devastating chop. That was Woo! That's what I said when you gotta start chopping them down. That was the chop that gets it started. Are you giving here here from here? Oh you heard all that cheer and then you heard the silence and now the boos thrown at Chosen. What wings did I have last time I was here? I think it was like some mild wings. I mean, they were pretty good. Low key, if they want to hook me up with some more again, wouldn't be mad about it. As Eddie Hendricks gets eliminated, the sun sets on the sun god. And now the only two people left are working together. And so Chainmail getting thrown over. Oh, we've reached our subscriber goal. Oh, yes! that's one match. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations on subscriber goal. And congratulations to Chosen, even though I hate that you won. Good first outing, though. I can't congratulate Chosen just yet because that was a team effort if you ever saw one. That was Atlanta Hawks basketball, if you want to be honest, because there was no star amongst the Apex. They all worked together, and don't get me wrong, they worked together beautifully. And shout out the slow motion replay, sponsored by W, the energy powder again. Use the code DWA4LIFE, exclamation mark, uh, life being spelled L-Y-F-E, for 10% off non jittery all-natural, great pre-workout. So, brother, I got to go prepare for my match with E, great, Rico Gonzalez. You understand the challenge that it is. Yes, sir. I will come back and join you on commentary again soon. I don't know who's going to follow me, but it's a heck of a hot seat to be in because we are just getting started tonight.